Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 on Simulation Station. And as you can see, the shop is empty uh, because we're going shopping. We have got five barn finds. Uh, and the way I get my barn finds, guys, is I go through the junkyard uh, looking for parts that I can restore. And every time you go to the junkyard, if you go through every single section you can go through, you're going to find a barn, a barn map. Somewhere in there, you're going to find a barn map. Never fails, going to happen. It's happened every time. So good barn finds are great, guys. Uh, you find a lot of neat stuff in the barn. So let's let's go do a little barn hopping. See what we see what we got to look forward to. In the future of Carbon Gap Simulator 2018. All right, come on now. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's see what we got. The sound hell is that? I don't want no flame oil. Ooh, look at there. Ah. No, I really don't want no fastback. You're always good. Guess that's it, huh? Come on. Let me out of here. I wanted to look through that. Come on. You can find a lot of good stuff to repair in these barns, too. I will get that, too. That's all money in your pocket, guys. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. This is a shitty barn, no doubt about it. Don't get no seat, guys. You can't repair it. All right. All right, let's get back. And some of these boxes that you find in these barns, you'll also find a barn map, too. So get a barn map, find a barn map. All right, that's number one. No cars, but we got a good box. Got some good parts. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. A lot of good stuff in this barn. Wow. 99% transmission. Everything there is good. Give you a car that can't ha can't get a hood far. Well, the car so far the cars have sucked, but we've got some good parts. 
All right, that's gonna be it for here. So far, it's been a flop, guys. So far, it's been a flop. Coming down out there now, isn't it? Raining pretty good. Another flop barn find. There's El Camino. You still want to put that in the bedroom? Huh? Freaking El Camino is all we got. Isn't that a good looking little El Camino though, isn't it? I really need to go through my garage and get rid of some cars that I'm not ever going to build. Come on, we need something good. See the Chevrolet there. Hmm. Yeah, why not? We don't get many pickups. One car. Unbelievable. All right, guys, damn, it's just not been very good. I don't know, I guess this is the last one, guys. See if the last one's a charm. Something good anyway. Nope. Last one's gonna suck too. I don't know. It's Camaro, isn't it? 
That's a good find right there, guys. Not a damn yeah. That's a damn good find. We want that in the garage. We're going to work on that one. It's a rare one. Heard my box. All righty, we we uh, we got a gold. We got a treasure there, guys. We we hit the gold mine with this one. We sure did. And that's got a damn o, uh, OHVK in it. Same thing we put in Speed Hunter. Look at that, boys. That's a good one. That is a good one right there. Oh, yeah. Got in her case. Ah, I got another barn find. And another barn find. Ah, that should be it. <laughs> We've got two more barn finds. How much money we made in parts here? Well, Eighteen thousand eight hundred dollars. Probably made cleared a couple of three thousand on that. All right, guys, we got two more barn finds. Let's go to them. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day today, guys. Uh, this is the last of my day off, days off. So tomorrow I start my vacation. Five days, nine days in all, guys. My vacation. From oh no, that's a damn flat nose. God oh, damn it! I don't care nothing about that. Yeah, you need that too.
Don't buy belts, don't buy interior, don't buy glass, guys. Cannot repair them. Damn, 43,000. Tempest Magnum. Nah. We don't want no Tempest Magnum. Can't pull that up on Wikipedia. Oldsmobile Delta 8. Now, I tell you what, I would buy it if it wasn't but one thing. That damn interior. You cannot change the color of that interior. They are a lot of fun to work on. Nah. Lord of mercy. Don't get very many of those suspensions either. If you could repair that, that'd be what anything with Ferrari on it, man. It's gonna. Well, that's it, guys. I could look out and have another barn find in one of our boxes. I'm keeping that cross member because you don't get many get many of those in barn finds, so where's cross member at? There it is. No barn finds. That's it. I don't see anything else I need. To, oh, you know what? No, that's not a high performance. Uh, I don't see anything we can't live without. All right, guys, there you have it. There's your barn finds. We are going to build that car right there when we come back. Thank you, guys. That's how you make money in a barn find. See you later. Bye. All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Simulation Station. And we are back in uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And we have got a very, very, very special car. This is the Plymouth Roadrunner, Roadrunner Don Toretto Edition. In other words, this is the, the uh, same... Uh, Roadrunner GX 
that was used in uh, Fast and the Furious. I'm sorry, GTX. I said GX. It's a GTX. Same car that was used in Fast and the Furious. We are fixing to rebuild it. We're going to make it as close to the real thing as possible. And when we're done, it's going to have better than a thousand horsepower in it, guys. Better than a thousand horsepower. It's going to run upwards of about 350 miles an hour. So uh, it's going to be very special, guys. It is very special. This was one of our barn finds from part one of this video. When we did the bar finds, we, uh, we, um, we found this car. This is really the only thing we found of any worth. Found an El Camino, but you know, it is what it is. This is very special, guys. I'm happy to do it. I love uh, Dodge. I'm a, I'm a Mopar guy from, from top of my head down to my feet. And uh, this was a good find. This is kind of rare in uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, and I'm, I'm happy to find it. Uh, we've got the motor out. We've got it rebuilt, or we're going to be re rebuilding it here in just a minute. Got a couple other things I'm going to get out of here real quick. So when we restore the motor, we can just chunk it back in here. See if any of this stuff is going to work. Looks like the radiator came through, did it? Yeah, it did. All right, we'll go ahead and get the, the fan for it. And it takes the B with the two fans, if I remember correctly. We'll go ahead and get these in there. So we don't have to worry about them anymore. Oh, we've got to go redo the battery real quick. Always keep a battery on your charger, guys. The way you always got to, all you got to do is trade it out and you're good to go. And that's a rebuilt, oh, you know what? Dad gummit. I got to have the shroud on it. Son of a gun. God oh, damn it. We're just not going to have a cooling system. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Damn nice model and they didn't put a, I didn't put a fan in there, guys. Um, I guess it shows one to be in there, but let's see. Yeah, they put a mock one in there. They still don't have a fan in there, though, is, is the problem. They've got the shroud, but no fan. Huh. Yeah, well. I don't guess. Now, that's not a engine cover so okay well it is what it is guys we can't shit one that's for sure all right let's go ahead and get our motor started here guys and uh we are putting all everything high performance we can put in here that we can buy to put in here is going in here so go ahead and get our crankshaft locked in here This stuff is none of this is uh, none of this high performance is rebuilt. It's all brand new stuff. Doesn't happen very often that I get two vehicles in one day that uses the same motor, but this is an extraordinary motor, guys. You go down and you buy a you go down and you buy a, a Hellcat, this is gonna be the motor that's in it right here. Same motor's in a Hellcat, same one that's in the Viper. Same motor, guys. Except the one you buy doesn't have the horsepower this one is going to have. High performance spark plugs.
high performance manifolds, high performance heads. And I promise you guys, you would have high performance rock, uh, rocker push rods in here too, and rocker arms, but they don't sell them on the game, so no way these uh, push rods would take the kind of horsepower this thing is going to put out without being beefed up. You'd bend every one of them or break them, push them through the uh, rocker arms right through the engine. Because this is going to put out more than double the horsepower that it would normally put out, that it's uh, rated for, or built for. Oh, didn't get my fuel filter. One thing I forgot. I'm not Sewell, fuel. Where the hell that came from? Man, I need one of those. I need a gas tank. While I'm here, performance uh, power steering oh you know what that's one thing I didn't get I didn't get a high performance uh, alternator okay let's see two things I forgot there it is hope you enjoyed the first part of that gummit try it again I hope you enjoyed the first part of the video how to make a little money just uh, Scrapping a little bit in your uh, in your barn finds, and every once in a while you'll find a really a gem like we did here, guys. We did find this in our barn finds. So, out of six barn finds, this is the only thing we found of really any worth. Like I say, we did find an El Camino, but it wasn't anything special. In the junkyard, we found a Volkswagen ID, which is an extremely expensive uh, sports car. And we found a four-wheel drive El Camino. Which we're going to probably rebuild this evening sometimes. You know, got away from Car Mechanic Simulator for quite some time, guys, and was trying some new stuff, but, you know, we always come back to what we love. Also, give a shout-out to Old Timer. Uh, you talk about somebody that's good in Car Mechanic Simulator, but that'd be him. He, uh, he is just a freaking rock star. Don't get a time look at some of his videos. They're just incredible. Old Timer. That'd be him. And uh, he is like the who's who among car mechanic simulator bus. He's a designer. I, I believe he's a designer. I believe he designs a whole lot of his own stuff. So y'all give him a look at. That is going to about be it, guys, I do believe. Let's see. Oh. 
That's going to be it. All right, that's going to do it for the motor, guys. Let's see what we got left here. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. Oh, dead coming. I bet you I didn't put the summer gun on there, did I? I bet you I didn't. Nope, sure didn't. I'm gonna go buy another one because I just sold the one I had. Now that's gonna be it, guys. That is gonna be it. Alrighty. You know what? I'm. I'm really kind of iffy about these heads. Let's see. These don't look like high performance heads. Nope, they're not. They certainly were not. We're rocking. Let's see what we got in here. We can get rid of get rid of that. Get rid of those two. Let's go get us a transmission. Nope. There she is. All right, guys. Let's go do a little inside work on this bad boy. Yeah. I ain't real crazy about those seats. But they are a charger. Let's see. There's your challenger seats right there. Yeah, let's put that nice steering wheel in there. I like those high back chairs. And when we're rebuilding, I'm not much into retro. All right, guys, sound like the house is being tore down behind me back here, doesn't it? All right. And I don't think they put a... They didn't. They didn't put an air breather in there either. God damn it. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and do a little body, body work. A little bit anyway.
I'm not just gonna have the doesn't look like it's gonna have the proper exhaust system in it either, guys. But you know, we'll work with what we've got, no problem. All right, let's see here what we've got. Bees. Nope. There we are. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have those in high performance. Where's 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 there it is. Let's get a little body work done on her. I think everything else did really good. Don't let me put that back in there or not. Yeah, it is. Outstanding. Oh, this came right off the car, guys, which is wonderful. Right rear left fender. Okay. Oh, they what we want. Damn it. 
So we found the right one, guys. Damn it, wrong one. There it is. Hmm. I think that's something. There we go. No. There was some difference. I don't know what it was, but there was some difference. All right, guys. Let's send this bad boy to paint. I'm not going to have the exact insignia that was on the car, but... We can get pretty damn close. And I think it's number two. That's it. Pretty doggone close. Coffee was getting cold, guys. Got here. Nineteens. Mm, right. So we need nineteens. We need something that's a little bit closer to the movie. Let's see what we got. If we got anything. Mm -hmm. mm, that's kind of close. That's real close right there. Let me see something, guys. 
Well, if I do, I'm going to lose my video. All right, guys, hold on. I'll be right back. I'm going to go check this out and see. Look a little closer look at those rims. I'll be right back. Okay, we can get fairly close to it. That's pretty dang close. That's really close. Wow, that's really close. Yeah, that's it right there. That's it right there. Just about as close as you can get. Let's see. 285, 3019. 285, By the way, guys, the uh, the Don Don what is his name Toretto was the one that designed the car for Fast and the Furious. That's what this that's what this car is named after. Don Toretto edition.
Yeah, I just found one of those in the junkyard. Probably won't need it, but I think I commented when I found it that I wanted to save it, and I did. Damn, almost all of these are cleaning up. That's good. Spring one you. One local housing C, two shoppers over bees. Twelve of these and four of the others. I think that's right. Bees and a three. That's it. We should have come out with some high performance brakes for these cars, guys. Go and hang these springs.
And that should do it, guys. There she is. Buddy, that ain't just like it, but that's pretty damn close right there. That's pretty close. I guarantee you. Back up just a little bit. Squat down. Actually, let me come over this way just a little bit. Well, I guess can't because of the damn pole. Yeah, gum, that looks pretty good, boys, pretty good. No, I ain't wanting to do that. Hey, yeah, gum, I started recording. Mmm. I thought it would have been worth a lot more than that. All right, guys. Oh, you know what we want to do first? We want to do some of this transmission. See what this thing does. I like it. Let's go see what she'll do. picture I'm gripping That sucker never did get a grip. Still looked about 270 mile an hour though. Now we'll put that on the dyno. Whoa, where am I going? Just to see. Four thousand nine hundred and ninety horsepower is what it's supposed to have. <laughs> oh, now it's got uh, eight thousand and fifty-eight horsepower. Wow. Eight thousand horsepower. That's a damn jet engine right there. Well there you have it guys. That's why it wouldn't catch a grip. <laughs> Two hundred thousand dollar car with ten thousand horsepower. All right, there you have it, guys. Looking good, looking good. Tell you what, it don't get no prettier than that right there. You hear me? All right, guys. Like I say, that's what it's worth. If we sold it right now, we would get uh, $150,000 for it. That ain't worth it.
just might as well keep it. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great evening, and we will see you next time.